Hi, my name is Teresa Lukey. And I'm Mike Lukey. Teresa and I, together with our daughter Catherine, have been full-time members at College Church since 2011. Teresa and I were married at College Church in 2002, and we've been attending Mass on and off at College Church uh, since the mid-90s. Today we are here to talk to you about why we support expanding Medicaid through Amendment 2. Right after graduating from St. Louis University, I went to work at Legal Services of Eastern Missouri, which is just down the street from College Church. At the time, the United States was involved in uh, an experiment, basically. It was called welfare reform. Well, welfare reform was essentially a bargain struck with our most vulnerable citizens. The plan was that people would go out and get a job, and in exchange for getting a job, they would get some government support. Because we all knew, even then, that the jobs that people would get would not pay enough for them to be able to find adequate housing, sub send their children to protective um, and supportive child education programs, and they would not have access to affordable health care. The welfare reform plan was supposed to make sure that people had access to expanded food assistance programs, housing assistance programs, and of course they would still be able to qualify for Medicaid even if they were working and earning money. Almost immediately at Legal Services, people were reporting that even though they had gone out and gotten a job, they were losing access to those very essential programs that were necessary to make sure that they were able to live and support their families. Almost 25 years have passed since welfare reform began, and we still have not gotten this right. Jesus was very clear to us that it is our responsibility to feed the hungry, to house those who are in need of shelter, and of course, to care for the sick. Voting yes on Amendment 2 to expand access to Medicaid is one way that we can fulfill our bargain that began way back with welfare reform, but it is also a way for us to respond to our call as Christians. The state auditor and independent researchers agree that it's in our best interest as a state economically to adopt Medicaid expansion. I think that reason alone is enough to consider voting yes on Amendment 2. But for me, uh, my decision goes further than that. Uh, I believe that the scripture gives us guidance on issues like this. And for me, one of the most powerful gospel narratives is the parable of the Good Samaritan, where Jesus tries to teach us what it means to care for our neighbors in need. I believe that teaching applies to us individually, but I also believe that, that it applies to us collectively as citizens of a democracy. And I think voting yes on Amendment 2 is one way we can take a small, simple, individual action to help move us along collectively in order to care for our neighbors and fulfill that gospel calling. So I hope you will consider all of these things when you go to vote in August. I hope that you will go to vote in August and that you will consider these things when uh, thinking about your vote for Amendment 2.